everybody and welcome to Living Plant-Based with Rosie and happy Friday. So Fridays usually means movie nights, whether you're going out or staying at home. And today I want to show you guys a great alternative to um, snacks. If you're going out to the theater, instead of buying nachos, popcorn, and all those sugary candies, you guys can make this at home and take it with you. Or you could also just have it at home with your family. Now today we're going to be making some cauliflower popcorn and some delicious sweet potato chips like this. So what you're going to need is a mandolin. In my case, I have the heart peeler, my favorite tool. I love this. You could order these at www.heartpeeler.com. And this tool has been one of my favorite tools ever. I use this to mandolin, mandolin stuff or to uh, peel things. It actually comes apart and you could peel your potatoes like I did earlier. I peeled my sweet potato and then I turn it around and I put it in there and I mandolin my sweet potato like this back and forth and I make those delicious slices Oops, like this, okay? So this is a great tool to have. Okay, so I went ahead and I peeled one sweet potato. I mandolin all my little chip uh, pieces and I also cut half of a big giant cauliflower into little popcorn pieces, little bite-sized pieces like this. So you're gonna have all these aside. Now for the sweet potatoes, we're gonna use the same seasoning that I used on my thanks on my last video where I made my Thanksgiving dinner. I marinated some sweet potatoes for roasted some sweet potatoes in the in the oven. You're gonna use the same seasoning. I always have it in the baggie ready because it's my favorite seasoning. And I'm gonna let you guys know what's in here. I put one tablespoon of thyme, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one. Uh, half a teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of rosemary, and one teaspoon of pink Himalaya salt. I, I think half a teaspoon of pink Himalaya salt. It doesn't matter. You put the amount of spices that you want in here and make it to your, um, to your taste. So we're going to use this and we're going to use some olive oil. So we're going to go ahead and put these uh, seasonings in there. I'm going to use about... I'm going to start with a whole teaspoon of the seasoning for the chips. So let me see if I can get that. Yep. So I'm going to put a whole teaspoon in here and I'm going to season these. Yeah, that seems about right. And I'm going to put about very little. About You guys know I don't like to use... Um, oils but I'm going to use my cold pressed olive oil that I occasionally occasionally use so I'm going to do about a fourth of a teaspoon first if I need more I'll put more you know what I think I'm going to need two fourths of a tea oops two of them so I would say half a teaspoon go ahead and put that because that's a lot of sweet potatoes and we're going to go ahead and mix that up Very good. And you could also put these in a Ziploc baggie, a big uh, gallon Ziploc baggie, and you can mix them in there. They'll probably mix in a little bit better. But you want to make sure that every single chip gets um, coated with the seasoning and with the, the oil. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to really quick taste this and I think it needs a little bit of salt so I don't think I put a lot of seasoning in my in a lot of salt in my seasoning the other day so I'm going to put just about a fourth of a teaspoon yeah of pink Himalaya salt in there and the sweet potatoes are very sweet oh they're so delicious and if you put the salt it just brings out the sweetness more when you're eating them okay so Make sure you marinate this very well. And I'm gonna put this aside and let it marinate a little bit in the seasoning and the oil. Okay, and then, yeah, I gotta mix it up because I noticed some of that seasoning is getting stuck on some of those potatoes more than others. Okay, 
So putting that aside, oops, I gotta get my little rubber thing in down. Oh, right there. Okay, so now we're gonna do the cauliflower. And for the cauliflower, we're gonna use a third cup of cashews, very little, and half a cup of water. So you're gonna leave these soaking for um, about two hours. Four hours is better, but two hours will do. And we're gonna put this in the blender. Put your cashews in there. And cashews are very, very, it's a healthy fat. It's a great alternative fat to butters and other kind of oils and fats that they put in your popcorn and your food. This is a healthy fat and cashews also helps you with your mood. It's a mood enhancer. It actually makes you feel better. And okay, so we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna put about a fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric. Uh, let me wipe that oil off my little spoon here of turmeric powder. And turmeric powder is, um, it's in the ginger family. So you could also put ginger powder, but turmeric powder gives it that um, almost like that spiciness and a cheesy color to it. And it's a super food. It's a, a, it's a colon health food. It's really, really healthy. Has lots of minerals and enzymes that our body needs. We're gonna put a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder as well. We're gonna put a fourth of a teaspoon of Himalaya pink salt. Okay, and we're gonna put two tablespoons, oops, sorry, another tea, fourth of a teaspoon of chili powder, or in your case, you could use uh, paprika if you don't wanna use the chili powder. I like the little spice in there. And you're gonna use two tablespoons, the chili powder is, is optional, you don't have to use it. Okay, so you could put two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and you could get that at Whole Foods. That's what's gonna give it that cheesy flavor. So I would say about two tablespoons of that. And we're gonna blend this all together. Cover this up. smells delicious oh yummy that's really good oh that's good except it needs a little more salt so I'm gonna put another fourth of a teaspoon of pink Himalaya salt don't want to make it too salty but since the cauliflower it's a lot of cauliflower it's gonna give it a really good flavor it's gonna make you um, feel like you're having that salty popcorn. I don't know what two, um, two fourths of a teaspoon are. Hopefully it's only half of a teaspoon. I think it is. It's, it ends up being half of a teaspoon. So we don't want to over salt our food ever. But since these are the snacks that you're taking to the movie theater, Mmm, that looks so good. There you go. Usually it's supposed to be a little thicker, but I think I put in a little bit too much water, but it's okay. This is going to work fine. So I'm going to get the spatula. I'm going to pour that in. Oh, this smells. I can't, I can't tell you guys. I cannot explain how delicious this smells. Just the smell, the turmeric, the garlic the cashews, the yeast, the nutritional yeast. Oh my God. 
And by the way, nutritional yeast has a lot, a lot of minerals that our body needs. Actually, it has a lot of the B vitamins that we have. I believe it even has um, vitamin B12. So very good with your B vitamins, nutritional yeast. And I don't have it all the time, but when I do have it when I make uh, certain cheeses or um, sauces. Like my, I make a delicious, what's it called? A delicious sauce for my noodles. A cream, a white creamy um, Alfredo sauce. Mm, so delicious with the nutritional yeast. Okay, so put that aside. We're going to go ahead and mix all this mixture together with our cauliflower. Oh, it just looks and smells so good. And you have to make sure that you get every single little piece of cauliflower mixed in there. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what your cauliflower should look like all mixed in there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mixing this and making sure that the potatoes are well mixed and then I'll be back when we're putting them on our cookie sheets. Okay guys, so we're at the stove over here ready to put them in the oven. So here's the cauliflower. I put them on a silicone pad, the nonstick pad. Now what I want to tell you guys about this recipe, I usually eat them like this. If I stay home and I'm having um, movie night at home, I don't bake them. For me, I like eating them raw like this. They're just as delicious. But if I'm going to a movie theater, I do bake them. So you have the option. And here are the sweet potato chips. So you line them up like this on the silicone pad. And we're going to put them in the oven. So we're going to put the cauliflower in for about 45 minutes or a little longer depending if you want it uh, semi uh, brown or if you want it a little bit more uh, crunchier you put them in longer now these I cannot stress enough how important it is that you only leave them in for 10 minutes take them out turn them over and put them back in for about two minutes that's it because if you go over, this could happen to you. I save these to show you guys what happens when I burn a batch of my sweet potato chips like that. You don't want that. These do not taste very good. And that could happen within one or two minutes of over uh, cooking in the oven, over baking. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in and I'll be back when they are done. I'll be back and I'll show you guys how the sweet potatoes uh, look after 10 minutes and when we have to turn them over. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and I took the sweet potato chips out and as you can see, they kind of shrunk in size. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these over. Then I'm gonna put them in for another two minutes and then I'll tr take them out, transfer them in another tray so they can cool down and I'll go ahead and put some more. So while the cauliflower is cooking, you could do a couple, a couple of batches of the sweet potato chips. Now, I'm so sorry, I forgot to tell you guys, make sure you preheat your oven at 375, okay? And I'll see you in the bed. They're all done, you guys. So we have our um, sweet potato chips right here. So this is one whole sweet potato, and they're very crisp, and they're very, very crunchy, as you can see. Mmm, so good you guys, yummy. So you can put these in a little Ziploc baggie and take them to the movie theater. And here is my cauliflower. The cauliflower, mmm, those are so good. These actually stayed in there for almost an hour. I did three batches, so this is three batches, one whole sweet potato, while this was in there the whole time. and. I got a little spatula, probably half hour within, and I turned them around just like that because they were crispy enough to turn around, and I put them back in there. And it depends how crispy you want them. You leave them there longer. 
I'm gonna try one and I love them really, really crispy like this. Oh, these are delicious. Oh, yum. Mm. So good, you guys. And the sweet potato chips, you could season those just with the cold pressed olive oil and some pink Himalaya salt. You don't have to put the seasonings that I did. I just put them in there to add a little bit more uh, flavor to them, but they have so much flavor just by themselves and they're super, super healthy. Oh my God, these are so delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so I can continue to bring great recipes for you guys to stay heart healthy. And don't forget to follow me also on Facebook, Living Plant Based with Rosie, and my other YouTube channel and Facebook page, Living Raw with Rosie, where I also have great recipes and tips on staying healthy. Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful Friday evening. Bye-bye.